Good morning, and what is growing on, everybody? These are my apples I did from seed, and this is the September 2021 Food Forest Tour. I skipped last month, and I'm sorry about that. But uh, here we are at it. You know, this is Zone 8, Oregon Coast, and we got a lot going on. Very, very dry 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 year it's only rained a couple times this season and a lot of my plants have not done great unfortunately I wanted to show you guys this real quick it's kind of cool this is a uh, radish I think the daikon variety big big ones and it's going to seed and the seeds are sprouting a bunch of seeds sprouting in there which is really cool so I've been taking the seed pods which look like this. There's a dry one that's ready, and then there's one that's green that's not quite ready. So the drier ones, I take them, and we can crack them open and see seeds. And I've been putting them in various areas of the food forest. So that's been fun. Usually I get lots of uh, fungus in my wood chips and stuff, and not so much this year. Everything's been very, very dry, sadly. Um, this grape I just planted this year. I've watered it a lot this season, but it has survived and even put on a couple grapes. Same year planting, so that's really neat. I forget the variety right now, which is kind of sad, but uh, it's got no tag. <laughs> Here's some of those same radishes seed that I put in here to test and they're doing awesome. They're probably ready to pull. So I might get at those. Let's get at it real quick, see what's in there. This is a nice little radish. These are supposed to go deep, deep and this pot is not deep so they probably just got what they could do. There we go. Yeah. I'll taste that later. Taste these later and see what happens. They look good. And then this is in with uh, some more radish and a walking onion that I've spread. The walking onions uh, get these little bulbs on top instead of seeds and you can plant those bulbs which is really cool. So the tunnel had to get taken down, the pea tunnel. So many peas, I couldn't even handle them all. Enough to eat and enough for seed just from this little area right here. It's awesome. Peach tree's doing great. It kind of came out of that leaf curl. It really liked. See, it kind of did this and then the stuff will fall off. But everything else is doing good. Gonna prune it soon. Even had a fruit. This was really cool. So if you want to know what happened here with the cannabis plant, follow my next video. I'll give you a hint. It's all in the soil. Like I already talked about. The worms do the work for you. Microbes, just feed your microbes. We got some chives and a potato growing in there with them. And uh, they're What's a borage? Oh, there's the borage. I'm hoping to let it spread around. And then I got this tomato that didn't really do anything. And then these are pruning from last year. So these are scions from last year, and it looks like a lot of them have survived. So I'm going to dig these up later and get free trees out of those. And that's exactly what this was. So that's a really cool thing. And so I'm going to be able to graft it onto this. And also, I'll leave a branch of the main so it'll get two different varieties of apples. All right. We got cherry tree over here. Plum tree that did awesome. We got a few plums out of it. And then the lemon verbena has taken over the path. And we got a Santa Rosa plum right there. Doing okay. It didn't do great. I mean... You see, it does have some issues. So some bugs and, or some rust, probably. But the newer growth is looking alright. 
and it's about to drop leaves anyways and start over fresh next year. Here's a good example I want to show you guys of the difference between in the soil or in the ground and healthy soil that I've made. So I've wood chipped this area for a few years now and this um, purple tree collard is just doing very, very well. Excellent. It's one of the plants I've been striving to get. Follow uh, John Kohler at Grown Your Greens and he talks about this plant a lot. Shout out to him because he's got a lot of good info. But anyways, this one is in the ground. You see? And look how great it is. And I'm going to show you guys one here in a second that is not in the ground. And it's doing good, but not as good. And here is th what the um, parsley. So we got wild parsley growing. This is growing for a couple years now, and I'm trying to let it spread. It's been kind of isolated in this area, but it's been creeping along, and this is how. And I'm going to take some of these seeds right now and spread them along our journey. <laughs> Okay, behind us. It's it's getting to be fall. And how we know is because of the apples. So you see the the apples. And these two are the chicory and the swiss shard going to seed. And they were filling in this whole area. And now they're just kind of dying back, going to seed. But in the in the path, we got apples. Beautiful apples. Looking great. And how you tell these are ready is they'll fall off easily. And this one's not quite ready. But we've already picked some. Because they it's it's edible. It's just not at its peak. We could try it right now. Let's try it. See how this is. Mmm. Juicy juicy. How good is that? Fresh grown. It is the best. I love my little produce store in the backyard here. Okay, getting off topic. Here we go. This is the other tree collard. Purple tr tree collard. And it is in a raised bed. And it's only just as tall as the other one and you can see the leaves. The leaves aren't as big or as lush, but still a very pretty plant. And then looking back on the apple, little mini apple forest, and the plum and the cherry back there. Beautiful little heaven I've created for uh, the family. And it's only been a couple years. Turn around and we look at the grape. Grape has done really well. Haven't got grapes off it yet, but expect to next year. Um, this is just the pathway getting taken over by <laughs> strawberries and a sunflower that has died and some other stuff that is not doing great, unfortunately, because the, like I said, two rains, and it's hard to keep up with watering. But the artichokes that I've potted up, they're doing great. And this borage is doing awesome, and it's beautiful, and attracts the... Uh, bees And we got a tomato ripening up here all the tomatoes I did in buckets uh, Put off a couple tomatoes and then got cooked by the heat wave Unfortunately, and you can see one back there that happened too. same here They still got a couple tomatoes on there to, to pick but not much Anyways guys, I'm gonna stop it there because I'm running out of time and say keep on growing organic. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me what you want to see in the garden. Next episode I might have a pineapple. I'll be able to show you guys. Growing on the Oregon coast. So stay tuned. Keep on growing organic.